This is the NBC Television Network. This is a special Thanksgiving edition of NFL Live. Here's Jim Lampley and Mike Ditka. And this is same Texas Stadium in Irving, Texas. The traditional Thanksgiving football feast continues here with the defending Super Bowl champion Dallas Cowboys hosting the Miami Dolphins. Weather, an enormous factor today. The temperature in Dallas, 26 degrees with a strong wind, a mix of rain and sleet. The wind chill, 5 degrees above zero. Hello, everybody, and a happy Thanksgiving from all of us at NBC and Mike Ditka. We've got a great game in bare weather. Well, you've got two teams that are in first place. I mean, you're playing for what's important in the National Football League. Uh, you've got two guys coming back from Dallas. You're going to see how they can play today. But the factor in this game is going to be this football field. It looks like a nice rink out there. I don't think the footing is going to be very good. It'll be very hard for me to believe anybody's going to score a lot of points. All right, we'll talk more about how it will affect the game. But as Mike has alluded to, the key question is the health of the Cowboys' two biggest stars, Troy Aikman and Emmett Smith. Aikman, as you know, pulled his left hamstring two and a half weeks ago on this scramble against the Giants. He sat out the Cowboys' past two games, including last Sunday's loss in Atlanta. Meanwhile, Emmett Smith had to be helped off the field last week in Atlanta after suffering a deep bruise in his right quadricep, the muscle just above the knee. With a report on both players now, we go down to the field and Will McDonough. Happy Thanksgiving, Will. Happy Thanksgiving to you, Jim, and everybody else. The good news today for the Dallas Cowboys is that Troy Aikman and Emmett Smith will stop. But with their injuries and this weather, Jimmy Johnson is concerned about whether they can finish. Here is Jimmy assessment. The image situation with the bruised quad, I don't think he's going to aggravate uh, the injury now. We just have to see uh, what he can do. You know, if he can go and be effective, we're going to let him play quite a bit. Play the other two guys, Coleman and Lastic, a little bit. Uh, if he's unable to go, then uh, obviously the other two will get the, the whole bulk of uh, the running game. As far as Troy's injury, you know, we've talked about it. We've, we've told him, said, hey, you've got to make sure you play smart, throw the ball away. Uh, we can't have you running full speed because he hasn't run full speed since he had the string pull. One thing that also bothered Jimmy Johnson was the crowd will not be here today. I was watching the early game with him in his box. They interrupted with the weather bullet and telling everybody to stay home. So he feels the home crowd in a way is taken out of the game for the Dallas Cowboys here today. So now for a report on Miami. Let's go to O.J. Simpson across the field. Well, all the talk about Miami is who's playing quarterback. It's not Marino. It's not Scott Mitchell. It's 39-year-old Steve DeBerg. I was able to catch up with Don Shula moments ago and asked him, has DeBerg been able to digest this Miami offense? Uh, we've had to uh, uh, cut it down quite a bit. But by the same token, uh, we, we have enough where we feel that we're comfortable with it. Uh, you can cut it down too far, and then you don't have uh, enough to uh, utilize the weapons that you have. It's important for us to get the ball into the hands of Keith Jackson, Keith Byers, Fryer, you know, our, our skilled people. Now, the biggest concern right now is footing with the uh, condition of this field, and here are some of the cleats that they're talking about wearing. Now, this is your normal AstroTurf shoe. As you can see, it's flat. The problem there, they're slippery. They can hydroplane on the slick spots on this field, so they're going to wear this cleat. It's pointed, it gives them a lot more traction. But if this field continues to get bad and it stops snowing and it freezes over, expect to see some tennis shoes out here before this game's over. Now let's go up to a couple of guys that don't have to worry about their footing. Jim and Mike Dick up there where it's warm. That's right, we can barely stand anyway, OJ. More on DeBerg and the Dolphins in a moment. But you told us this past Sunday that Smith is the key offensive player in the whole league. What about him on a bad leg on this field? Well, it depends on the leg. If the leg's bad, he's not going to be effective anyways, Jim. But if the leg is okay, I don't know how effective it can be. They do a lot of push blocking. They run what we call the lead draw. They push people off the ball. That could be effective. I just don't see you getting good footing. He's not going to be able to cut back and forth, so it's going to be more of a straight-ahead power running game. All right, we'll look for that in a key game for both teams. The Dolphins at 8-2, and two, tied with Buffalo atop the AFC East. The Bills have a tough one coming up this Sunday at Kansas City. Meanwhile, the Cowboys are 7-3. and three. Deadlocked with the Giants in the NFC East after having lost to the Falcons, as we mentioned four days ago. The men who will call the game for us, Dick Enberg and Bob Trumpy. Happy Thanksgiving, gentlemen. 
and to you, Jim, and it gives us a chance to wave like the players do, say hi, Mom, hi, to Marion, Trumpy down in Springfield, Illinois, and Bell up in Bay City, Michigan, and to all the women who make this holiday special and remind us of the blessings uh, that we all enjoy. And for these two teams, uh, they're all smiles. They both are legitimate Super Bowl teams. They're both aimed for Atlanta in January. Yeah, Dick, they've got the attitude, even with the injuries. Anytime you talk to Miami Dolphins players or coaches, they can sense, even though they're on their fourth starting quarterback and Steve DeBerg that they've got the pieces in place. They can win without Marino. They've done that. They've got an excellent running game. Miami feels very positive. And the same is true of the Dallas Cowboys. Even with all the problems they had early in the season without Emmett Smith, with the injuries, they still have the right attitude. I look for both of these teams to certainly be in the playoffs, and if everybody gets healthy on both sides, they might be in Atlanta. Mike Ditka said that he doesn't think there'll be a lot of scoring, but you, as an offensive player, like this kind of field. Oh, absolutely. A field like this always favors the offense. It's always very difficult to react, and that's the defensive side of the ball. It does take away a lot of what you can do, and special teams on a field like this, catching punts, making sure the ball doesn't bounce, good snaps, the, the premier thing in a game on a field like this. Which team does it favor? Uh, actually, I think it favors Miami because of the pulled muscles that Mike Dick uh, talked about uh, on the Dallas side of the ball. All right, a great Thanksgiving fair for you as we go back to Jim Lampley.